I may, I don't, look dude, I just don't want you to kick off here, all right, because I know it all seems a bit, look, I might have been asked to do a job in Indonesia over lockdown period, and I might have said yes. Welcome to Mike Rides 14. You know what, mate? Good bloke, yeah, 14, see you in a bit. Yeah, like and subscribe. Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck, I've forgotten how to do these. I just literally talk to myself, don't I? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how you do it. I got approached just before we went into lockdown to be in a TV ad in Indonesia to advertise the uh, an area called Lake Toba, which is in North Sumatra. So I got approached to do it, and I was kind of like, at first I was like, nah, I can't leave everyone in England. And then, no, I can't do it, I can't do it. And then point, point zero two of a second after, I said yes. I feel a bit bad saying it, because obviously a lot of people are having a shit time, and uh, it does suck. Dude, I've got to get my breath back. The whole situation does suck. And I know a lot of people might be watching this and thinking, you bastard. You're in Indonesia, you don't care. I mean, I am a bastard, yes. I feel, I feel like that guy. I feel a bit too lucky. I got very lucky. And uh, now I'm out biking in Indonesia. Indonesia, pretty insane. So in order to do this job, in order to come to Indonesia, you have to have like a working visa because it's not open to um, tourists at the minute. So the company I'm working for called Bali Prod and they make all kinds of different TV ads and stuff like that. So they obviously cover the uh, working visa and it meant that I can come here and fiddle around in the jungle with snakes. Oh, that sounded a bit risky. We're on YouTube, right? <laughs> yeah, I feel like that guy. But at least it's something interesting to watch whilst you sat there, you know? And to be honest, I'm out here on my own. So in a way, I'm, I'm isolating from, what was that? Dude, there's gotta be some gnarly snakes out here I'm being very careful because there are really insane animals out here um, I went for a, a road ride the other day and the schedule here is packed we're filming for a um, with a TV production crew so obviously I'm bottom of the pile I'm like a character that rides his bike I'm playing myself, which uh, might I add, I am the best in the world at this role. Uh, and, and basically the guys are following me on my journey around Indonesia. And that includes where I am today, which is uh, Caldera Bike Park. Again, near Lake Toba. So I was on a road ride the other day, like I was saying earlier, and I was riding along and there's monkeys. Um, monkeys like chase you and it's not cool either you think they're kind of cute looking but their whole their face is just teeth when you see them yawn they're like, like their teeth go from here to here so they're pretty, there's some pretty scary animals out here I reckon monkeys aren't obviously the most scary but even those I wouldn't really want to have a monkey latched onto my leg Look at me, I'm spooked now, man, because I'm on my own, creeping around in the jungle. Fuck, I want to see it. I hate, I hate when, like, um, you can hear him, but you can't see him. Big snake fan. Don't know if I've told you before. Big snake fan. Um, what was I banging on about? Fuck, I'm out of practice at this, aren't I? Jeez. Um, I've been away from uh, uploading anything to YouTube for a little while because I've just been actually very busy. And... Um, 
I'm sorry about that, but you know, I have some things to do, people to see. So where I'm at is a place called Lake Toba, which is, I think it's like a super volcano. And I think there's loads of stuff about how it's like due to explode. Pretty good. I actually traveled to a volcano in the Philippines a few years ago, Deeks, and that since exploded. So hopefully I'm, I'm not a curse on these places. Because I think when this one goes, it's like one of those crazy, crazy big eruptions. And it's like no joke, it's like a world ender. So hopefully that doesn't happen. What else can I talk to you about? Oh, already my time here, I've been here five days, I think now. And already in my time here, it's been so cool. Last night, I think I came, I don't know, but I think I came close to dying. So I was in a speedboat in the middle of the lake. The lake is massive, by the way. It looks like the sea. And in the middle of the lake, there is an island. So the whole lake is like a, what is the top of a volcano, which is why this is called Caldera Bike Park. I was in the middle of the lake on a speedboat last night, coming back from where we were shooting, and there was a lightning storm. And it was so close around our speedboat. The speedboat's like open top. And dude, I'm not normally, normally I'm too stupid to be worried about stuff. But this really, really felt like a mistake. We had no lights. So the rude boy who's um, captaining the boat, he had his iPhone torch out the front and there was lightning landing on the lake. And I don't know if you've ever heard lightning, but lightning is the craziest sound. Like really, really crazy. It's like a when it's landing near you. Like it's one thing like thunder and lightning, but when you're really close, there's something, there's something so insane. I don't actually even know what makes the sound of a, uh... whoa, I never thought about that. Do you know what makes the sound of lightning? It's like a whip cracking, which makes me think it's going, it's something breaking the sound barrier, but then it, it's light, it's electricity. I risk sounding very stupid here, but maybe someone could explain what the sound of lightning is. <clears throat> and here we are, back on mic rides, in a jungle, talking about where the sound of lightning comes from. Big thanks for tuning in. <laughs> right, I'm gonna switch to chest cam now, show you a run of Caldera Bike Park. I don't know what trail this is. I think it might be the trail. Just want to clarify that that was me making a joke about my lack of understanding of the Indonesian language, not actually mocking the language itself. Because those kinds of uh, those kinds of explanations are very important nowadays when you make jokes. Yeah, we're switching up to the GoPro 9, which I'm really happy to uh, have on board the production team. <laughs> Let's check out this trail, which is called. <laughs> Look at that, man. Wow, wow, we were. So that is the um, volcano, and that thing there on the other side is actually an island in the middle of the volcanic crater. So it's that big. Oh, what am I talking about? You didn't come here for a geography lesson, did you? You probably know more about geography than me. I'm stupid. Right, everything's recording. Do you know, I'm really out of practice at this. I feel like during that last lockdown, I really got good at just talking to myself. I feel a bit lonely doing it now. That's good. Yeah, there we go. Another view of the uh, volcano. Let's get my bike and head down the hill. All right. Wilkins goes inside line. God, it's slippery. Fuck me. Big tree coming up. So I think this is like a transfer stage. I just wanted to show you the volcano, really. Yeah, it's all uphill. 
I'm more talking, eh? But you did one bit of riding you can wait for. Right, no, we're back in. Whoa, the dirt is so slippery here. It's good though. Whoa. Guys, flat out actually, it's fun. As well, those snakes were. Wait, oh, I nearly went down so bad then. <gasps> yeah, ground is like clay, super slippery. And monsoon season here at the minute, so like this morning it was raining like you've never seen before. No, it's lovely. Yeah, so it's like a the bike park's actually only been here four months, so it's in its infancy. And uh, it's gonna be really cool. And there's a spot to, as a spot to visit, it's like not really touristy, so it's rad to be here seeing, seeing everything before it becomes riddled with McDonald's and Starbucks. No doubt you'll get a Starbucks ad on this uh, video now I've said that. We're back in. This bit looked quite cool on the uh, chest cameras I saw of the place. Oh, nice. Yo, hi lads. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. So they like fairly straight sections here at this bike park, it seems. I get a bit awkward out, don't know what to do with my hands. And we got a cool tabletop here. Nice. Right, this is going to be a flat lander. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's blind. <gasps> That is a lot of fun actually. That section's really cool. I think that's the end of the trail. I'm gonna stop the chesty. It gets jungly here. So, do you know what? I'm out of practice at this. I'll do more if, if anyone actually wants me to. Feel free to say you don't. Um, imagine how weird it is having like a, a six foot British, British bloke ride through the middle of your uh, garden with a dildo on his head. You're right, yes, yeah, Mike rides. Um, yeah, we've run out of steam. Thanks for joining me. I'll do more if you want. I'm going to just film basically my experience of it as well. So I'll put that in a, another fucking video that I've spent hours editing. You better enjoy these. Probably time for the theme tune, isn't it? Peace. <laughs> Standing, standing, standing! I've had an arsehole like a dragon's nostril since I arrived here.